Welcome to Mr. Youth Unthinkable, where we explore ideas and craft of building thinking classrooms. In each episode, we will share one or two micro moves, a little change you can make in your classroom to enhance your experience with BTC. Under three minutes. I hope you enjoy. In this episode, I will talk about a lesson part, how we start the lesson. Now, it is recommended to keep the lesson under five minutes because students won't pay attention after five minutes, but also when teachers talk way too long, they might spoil the thinking that students could actually attain uh, on their own. So with this five minutes, we are trying to show something that they have seen before in the previous unit or previous uh, grade uh, math courses. But uh, what I learned over time is that I tend to explain something way too long, especially at the beginning of a unit, especially for senior grades. When I teach grade 11, grade 12 courses, where I thought that they have seen this, they have seen that, especially for example, like trig unit, like I might talk about uh, what's standard position, what's terminal arm, what's co-terminal arm, uh, reference angle, all these uh, ideas that I thought that maybe just in case uh, they might need these ideas, I should explain this. So I spent like 10, 15 minutes explaining something like this and students are confused and then, and then when I asked them these first questions in a group work, the synthesized questions, I could hear some of the students, especially students who have, uh, maybe who are not comfortable with math, they're asking questions like, what does this term mean? A term I just explained in that 10, 15 minutes. So I realized that this long explanation is actually not helping at all. So keeping it five minutes is very important. How does that work? in the, especially senior grades mass, where I feel like I needed to cover, especially at the beginning of a unit. Now, what I figured out over time is that I just needed to share one or two ideas under five minutes, just enough for them to start the first few questions of group work questions, the synthesized questions. And after that point, yes, there may be some questions that might require some ideas or terms. Um, it's important that they explore the ideas first before we consolidate and name the ideas. But also, if the question requires some term uh, that I might not have explained, or I might not have time to explain under five minutes, it's okay because some other groups might know that uh, and how to uh, find the answer with that particular term. So instead of me trying to explain everything at the beginning, once they get to the point where they needed some idea or term, I just look around the class and if a group needs help, I would just gently guide them, you might want to talk to this group, and they seem to know uh, this particular term. So in this way, first of all, they can explore the ideas uh, without naming these terms, and we can name them at the end. Uh, or if you see one or two groups who figured out and who remember uh, some of these terms that they have seen before, uh, you can get those groups who need help, guide them to that group to get some help. Uh, in this way, I was able to keep uh, the uh, lesson part under five minutes. I was able to cover the very core ideas to start the first few questions, and students were able to continue to engage and figure out the problems without revealing every single terms. And now I could discuss some of the terms that I wasn't able to discuss at the beginning at the end. Uh, after they experienced it, it would make more sense instead of me explaining at the beginning for everything. So that's what I found, uh, exploration first, and naming after. And if you find some group figured out, get the group who need help to guide them to that group who already figured out. So that's what I uh, do for the beginning of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.